In the Bible code, there is a key phrase, beasts of the field, which I suggest describes what we can now see are non-human beings among the population. One might assume, initially reading, that this means lions or bears because of all the scenes in the Bible of people being consumed by them. An example of this is in Ezekiel 29.5. I have given thee for meat to the beasts of the field. And again, they became meat to all the beasts of the field. Could it be that beasts is a biblical code for the many different alien types witnessed? Could it be that field is a code for the universe? It never made sense to me that the universe with all its cataloged planets would be either empty or the only other thing out there were fallen angels, demons, and devils. But if beasts means aliens and field means universe, then there is an important piece of information in God's word for us to examine. Jeremiah 27.6 Nebuchadnezzar, the king of Babylon, my servant, and the beasts of the field have I given him also to serve him. But who is Nebuchadnezzar, king of Babylon? And why is this important in understanding the beasts of the field? Nebuchadnezzar and Babylon are reincarnations of Satan and his ruling earthly kingdom. The man Nebuchadnezzar and his nation which rules the earth has multiple establishments throughout time, the last of which is King Barack Obama, who is Satan the beast, and Babylon his nation from which he rules the world is America. Do not be misled by the majority of reprobates who ignore scripture as a result of their failure to obey the Ten Commandments and thus have their minds befuddled to the extent of believing unscriptural nonsense such as the Catholic Pope is the Antichrist and the Vatican is Babylon. Vatican City is not a nation, has no army, no waters to dry up, no mingled people, does not rule the world, nations do not flow into it, not the praise of the whole earth, and it is not Babylon. No nation which has ruled other nations has done so without a sizable and powerful military. No, not by technology. No, not by covert means, lest a nation with brute force rebel and overtake it. Only America, the hindermost and wealthiest of the nations, fits all the descriptions of the end-time Babylon, and we know that Satan is the king of it from Isaiah 14. How art thou fallen from heaven, O Lucifer? Son of the morning, how art thou cut down to the ground, which didst weaken the nations? They that see thee shall narrowly look upon thee, and consider thee, saying, Is this the man that made the earth to tremble, that did shake the kingdoms? Could it be the reason for the whole UFO cover-up, and all the lies about the many different sentient beings who have visited us, is because they are all given into the hand of Satan, and they and their technology are kept hidden, not because people could not handle the truth, but so that Satan can enact his plan of wiping out the seed of Eve and possessing the earth for his beast seed? Are the aliens kept under wraps because he knows if people see them, they will be alerted to his plan? So notice with this Chase commercial that there is something interesting in the background. Notice the dragon symbol, and you see the words dragon, partially obscured, written above it. Now here you notice the dragon symbol again, plus there's another face that shows a reptilian slit eye, which is almost like they're trying to indoctrinate people subconsciously to approve of the reptilian presence. And then here, notice, the slit eye shows up. Are these icons for the full reptilian and the hybrid? Notice in the following scene, 
his fellow hero guy gives him the nod of approval as though he's approving of the reptilian presence. There is no human being with other than perfectly round pupils. We might consider that if this angle shape to the pupil is not the shape shifting but the actual shape of the pupil, then it might mean that it is different from the straight up and down slit pupil that we see with the reptile. Therefore, what you might be looking at is the feline type aliens that we heard about. Notice the often seen stretching flesh in between the eyes. It kind of looks like a feline to me in this case. Margaret, are you really someone's cat? Or croctoid, perhaps? Notice the pupil extends beyond the eyelid. I have discovered you cannot trust any news. They are all taken over by evil alien beasts pretending to be us. Again, every single television, 
radio, and established web or print news media are under the complete control of aliens. These alien beasts have done this because they know if there was even one human-controlled broadcasting station, someone could show them the shape-shifting footage and broadcast it. By controlling all major broadcast stations, they can keep their existence secret from the public at large and continue their evil. This evil includes keeping humans hypnotized, dumbed down, and cowed into obedience using long-term subliminal programming, conditioning minds against waking up to the reality of these predatory aliens. Realize, it is not a paranoid statement that these evil alien beasts are eating the flesh of humans, mostly children which have the most energy. This is why the news outlets are not reporting about the missing children in your neighborhood. We all have been programmed from school, television, movies, music, and electromagnetic frequencies from harp and cell phone towers to accept and even worship these evil beasts, and to hate any source that speaks of the truth. This programming is why people become outraged when the truth is revealed, in addition to that they inwardly know what they follow and serve. When people love and idolize music, movie, and television stars, they are worshiping devils. Media shows such as alien science fiction horror actually serve to diffuse and discredit the reality of what is going on. Simply by making people think a person has confused fiction with reality, a very clever tactic. Meanwhile, alien beasts with technology we have not conceived continue to stand on our backs and literally eat human flesh behind closed doors. Why else hide from humanity the truth that the universe is filled with many forms of sentient life? It has to be something so horrible to enact a cover-up as big as this. People such as David Icke, Alex Collier, Peggy Kane, and James Bartley have made significant contributions which I credit for much of my current knowledge. But there is an important piece of information provided by the Susan Reed account where a reptilian informs her we overwhelm them spiritually. This I realize is likely what happened to David Icke, as his early work to expose the reptilian existence does not help their agenda of secrecy, and if he was a reptilian all along they would have stopped him before he did such things as the Arizona Wilder interview. I don't go by hearsay and still images of David Icke with the reptilian eyes, but when I saw the video I believe the rumor. This emphasizes the importance of the shape-shifting footage and likely why these beasts are paying so much attention to me. They know that the footage can change minds. There are only a handful of dedicated shape-shifter movie makers and one besides myself that makes clear, rational, mind-changing videos. Frequency Fence channel on YouTube and her channel has had no activity for almost two years now. I rather think they intimidated or snuffed her out. The problem with all these and all New Age alien revelation people is that no human, no matter how strong, is able to defend themselves against spiritual takeover. I esteem that because these beasts are able to keep their existence a secret for so long, no human by themselves is able to withstand a full spiritual attack. This means, as with David Icke, they get taken over and their body and mind are used to gradually turn people away from the alien beast reality. Notice David Icke does not talk about the reptilians anymore, though of course they are key to everything, and the real power behind the Illuminati. I think without the protection of God, given how much activity against me has occurred already, they surely would have stopped me by now if they could. Be sure you heard me say, that being a Christian is no sure protection against these beasts. Do not be misled by all the churches, pastors, and theologians who teach once saved, always saved. Believing on the name is but an opportunity to overcome, and many are called, but few are chosen.